Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Eva and I am officially back in the United States. It feels a little bit strange. It was weird to hear so much English being spoken around me, but the airport was also virtually empty. So it was also strange for COVID reasons. Um, I am at home. I am in quarantine. So I will be here for the next 12 days, 12 days, I think 13 days, 12, 13. I don't know. I've already lost track. But I'm filming this intro because I filmed quite a bit of content in my last few weeks of living in Italy. So I'm going to be putting that up for the next few weeks. And this video in particular is for my time getting ready for my first Italian wedding and the craziness that went on that day. Basically what happened to me is I purchased a dress like an idiot from the United States and it did not arrive the day of the wedding or before like it was supposed to. So the morning of the wedding, I had to scramble and find a dress so that I could look presentable at this wonderful event. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I also almost forgot and should not have almost forgotten, but I hit 5,000 subscribers. This is crazy. Thank you so much, you guys, who are watching and who are subscribing and who are commenting. And again, who are reaching out to me on Instagram. Um, I love being able to talk to you guys and to have more conversation. And now that I'm home in lockdown, I really don't have anything but time. So if you feel like you want to send me a message on Instagram, let's, let's chat. Okay, now let's go to the video. shopping because my dress that I originally ordered for this wedding did not show up so I've got like three different types of dresses and outfits that I need to try on now I'm like stressed I'm sweating I'm hot it's really gross okay so here's one look I'm not really liking this at all and I will probably never wear these pants again, so... No. It's a no. Okay, so look number two. It's a no. Not for a wedding. It's like beach vacation type dress plus it's... It's sheer in the back. So I'm not gonna go for this one either. It's not exactly what I'm looking for. Okay. This one had more potential, but a very open and uh, modest. So. It's a no. Okay, so now I'm in and other stories. This one's a little bit better, but. exhausted and I finally found a dress I tried on at least like maybe 10 different options and I had I went to like I went to Zara I went to and other stories I went to mango I finally found something from and other stories I was deciding between a short dress and a long dress I went with the long dress but the problem with the long dress is that it's extremely long and it's just too hot for the summertime. It's like almost, it's almost 100 degrees today and I'm sweating and gross. So luckily I was able to stop by my boyfriend's tailor and she said that she can fix the dress in about a couple of hours. So I'm gonna go back and then pick it up there, but we can see the shoes that I bought Okay, so I got a pair from And Other Stories. Here's what they look like. 
pretty standard, simple shoe. I wasn't really planning on buying another shoe today, but these go a little bit better with the dress than the little black ones I've got over there. So here we go. Let's take a look. And I can try them on. Yeah, they look nice. I can look in the mirror. Okay, so now I'm gonna eat some lunch because I'm starving and then eventually I'm gonna shower and pick up the dress and then come back home and get ready for this wedding. super super stressed and so I'm gonna try and just do a quick little wedding look and share with you guys the makeup that I do. Um, I'm using the Becca Luminous foundation I think. So I'm gonna take it from around here. There's not much left. Next, I'm just going to go in with the Fenty Concealer. This is in shade 385. I'm just going to dab a little bit on my eyes. Make sure that that's as evenly rubbed as possible. Eyebrows next. because I love, and I'm using Anastasia Brow Wiz. Maybe that's not the way to put that, I don't know. But I love this brow pencil. It's the only one that I've found that actually makes my eyebrows look nice. I literally hate when the pencil is like super thick. It makes me so angry. So I like that it's like a really thin tipped pencil. And it makes my eyebrows look pretty. And right here, I have a little pimple on my eyebrow. I always get pimples on that spot in my eyebrow. It's really annoying. So there we go. Here, this is another Anastasia product. Um, it's a eyebrow primer, or eyeshadow primer. Eyeshadow primer. And I basically just use this for eyeshadow, but I also use it like under my eyebrows. So I'm gonna throw that on my lid, just like that. So I can prep my eyeshadow. And then I'm also gonna throw some under my eyebrow. Because I kind of use it as a way to, to highlight the brow, you know, multi purpose, multi functional product. The Fenty Beauty Coco. Coco Naughty if you're nice. And so I'm gonna put that in my crease just like this, just so we can go around. Because I love this bronzer actually. Look at how like on the pan it is. It's ridiculous. Because I use it almost every day, if not every day. It's fairly frequent that I'm using this. I've got my Naked Heat palette. I'm gonna go with, I think, let's do Low Glow. Low Glow, and then if I wanna pack something on the lid on top of that, I do. I like a, I really do like a kind of very light natural look. I'm gonna go here, pat that on. Then I'm gonna go in with Ashes. Some 
some of you guys are going to be like judging my makeup skills. I'm not a makeup artist. <laughs> I wish I was much better at applying makeup than I am now. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh no, that was so much. This is what happens when you're in a rush. I have zero time to like relax today. I took a nap earlier and then I almost missed, I almost missed getting my dress because I was sleeping. It's not good, it's not good. So I'm gonna take this brush here and I'm just gonna blend it out. Now I kind of want to go on top with like a little bit of a glittery color, so I'm going to take this color right here called Scorched. Nice. Okay. I'm going to do the same here and just pat that over the lid. contacts so I had to put them in because if anybody has contacts you know how annoying it is to put contacts on after you've already started applying makeup it's like you might as well just start all over from scratch no I'm kidding but it is, it is a little bit frustrating just because sometimes the makeup can get on your contacts on your lens and then they irritate your eye and then you're upset because you can't see so, at least I've managed to notice that before I put on mascara. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Got mascara here. This is like a NYX mascara. I don't know, it's okay. I'm not mad at it. Usually I prefer uh, Benefit, but this one works. So, the lighting in this bathroom is not that great for like makeup tutorial level makeup. Sorry, I'm also sitting down because my tripod went, it, my tripod went um, with all my other things back in the US. It was shipped away because I was not trying to carry that to the airport. <laughs> so, here's the Fenty bronzer. MAC blush, it's called Raisin, and this, this blush is so old, my god, my blush is probably like, you don't want to know how old my blush is, I'm not gonna say. <laughs> Somebody's gonna write in the comments like, girl, you need to throw that away, it's toxic. <laughs> I'll be like, I'm sorry. I didn't even realize, I just don't want to spend all my money on makeup. If I still have stuff that's good, yeah, this is the Laura Mercier like translucent powder in medium deep, which I am most certainly going to use with my fake, my very fake. Um, I'm just gonna pat that up on my forehead because that's this is where I get the most oily. So I'd like pat it around on my nose. Um, on my chin, just my places where I get really, really oily because I know, especially tonight, I'm gonna be a grease ball. First, we have to do jewelry. So, I have this necklace here. Don't ask me where I got it because it was a gift from a long, 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 long time ago back when my parents used to buy me jewelry. So I think I've had this necklace since I was like six years old or something. My neck was a lot smaller, but now it's cute because it's kind of like a, like a gold choker. I'm also, I think I'm gonna do studs on the ear today. I don't know, let's see. I might change that though, but we'll see. Studs might be perfect. 
Boosted. These are also gold studs. I don't know where they're from. I've had them since I was a baby. And now comes the hard part, which is taking out these twists. This is going to take a long time, so I'm going to be back when these twists are removed completely. But, or I'll show you in stages. What I'm going to do is I've got some coconut oil. And so I'm just going to dip my fingers a little bit in the coconut oil. Rub it over my hair. And now I'm going to start just one by one taking them down. So I'll see you when I'm about halfway through. for watching um, I hope you enjoyed unfortunately I didn't film that much at the actual wedding just because it wasn't my friends getting married it was my boyfriend's friends and so I didn't want to be that creepy person with the camera like hey guys <laughs> um, <laughs> so I did what I could I just shared my part portion of getting ready but okay so I've got more videos coming up from my last few weeks in Italy and so keep an eye out for those. They'll be coming out next week and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.